is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video before we get into this guys We are like 50 subs away from 6,000. So if you've not subscribed make sure to do so let's hit 6,000 subscribers before the first uh, for the end of the first day of September That would be absolutely amazing and it'd be much appreciated We're only like four to five days away from 2k 20, which is even more exciting But today I've decided I wanted to do a deer and fox suns rebuild so basically I'm gonna take Darren Fox and the Phoenix Suns and I'm gonna basically say uh, What if what would have happened in today's NBA if Darren Fox would have been drafted by the Suns and up to this point What they have done so basically I'm not going back in time just because that's gonna get a little too complex with all the trades and What might have happened, but we're just gonna take Darren Fox and put him on today's Phoenix Suns and pretend They drafted him way back then and you have Darren Fox and Devin Booker who are developing next to each other and it's finally time for these two to make a big jump and make the playoffs. So yeah, that's basically what we're going to go with here. Uh, I think that's how I did the Laurie Marketing and Jason Tatum video anyway. I did a while back. But this is the starting five. It's looking pretty good. De'Aaron Fox, Devin Booker, Kelly Oubre, Ian Kaminsky, Aaron Baines. Uh, we have uh, Miles, Mikel Bridges, and Tyler Johnson, Ed Chuck, Diallo all coming off the bench. But I'm going to go ahead, move Frank Kaminsky to the four. Probably make this a nine-man rotation. That way we don't have to give that, uh, what's his name? Uh, check the all the last few minutes because we really don't need to and other than that guys We're just gonna go ahead and see how this team would do I put uh, Ricky Rubio on the Orlando Magic though. This is just because if the Suns had Darren Fox, why would they have signed Ricky Rubio? Probably not You know, I could argue that's the same thing with Tyler Johnson But then Ryan Anderson comes involved and I have to reverse a lot of trades. That's just way too much work So basically this is what we're gonna do Darren Fox, Devin Booker, Oubre, Kaminsky, and DeAndre Aiden. Let's just see how the starting five would do. What would a backcourt of Darren Fox and Devin Booker look like? So that's going to be fun today. We have a three-star rating at balance. Can we go up to three and a half? I'm sure we can. Seven seconds. That's probably what we'll do. We'll move to uh, seven seconds, change this, and then what I'm going to do, just simulate this first season, and let's see how a Darren Fox, Devin Booker backcourt would really do we didn't end up making that playoffs the first season although we are looking pretty good with an 88 89 and 87 so i'm pretty confident in this team because we have a very young roster with De'Aaron fox and uh devin booker but when we look at the stats we had 25 from d book 18 and 8 from De'Aaron fox and then 17 from deandre Aiden. now uh devin booker or De'Aaron fox and Aiden are both on their rookie deal so i really need to take advantage of that and acquire a star now so that's what i'm going to be looking to do this offseason i don't know who it's going to be just yet but we do have a lottery pick because obviously we didn't make the playoffs and we ended up at number 12 all right so that's you know it's not bad so monty williams still our head coach we're going to fire our trainer and get a better one i'm gonna keep monty williams for now and then we'll go to the draft so let's see what i might be able to get at the 12 okay 12th pick overall uber's contracts kind of large but uh nothing i should oh my gosh why didn't i use the g league that's like such a new move i should have done that but you know it's whatever so let's go Kaminsky in the 12th pick I guess and let's see what that could possibly get your boy We can get Kevin Love, but I don't know man. I don't really want Kevin Love just because uh, He's kind of a curse on this game. We can move up I mean we can move up a couple spots by training Frank Kaminsky or Covington wouldn't be a bad starting three uh, Ubre was our starting three. I was like who started at the three for us anyway um, I'm gonna go to, I'm just gonna move up just because I don't really need Frank Kaminsky I don't feel like so let's move up to the 10th spot and let's see if this can get us anything better than the 12th spot would have got me. So uh, let's just see if there's anything left. I was about to say, did RJ Hampton get taken yet? But he did. All right. So JD McDaniels or Precious is basically the move. Um, I think we're going to go JD McDaniels at the small forward spot, man. I think we're going to get JD McDaniels at the small forward spot. That should be a good uh, draft pick there. And then go to the rookie signing. Uh, we'll go ahead and move on from that. And then player options. Of course, going to bring all of our guys back. And then qualifying offers. Starch is a free agent. It's not going to totally hurt my feelings if we lose him. But we have negative $44 million. We should have a lot of money, I think. So Aaron Baines, uh, Carter Williams, Ricky Rubio's thing. And then we have $14 million. So uh, we're going to probably need to trade somebody else here. Who could I trade that I don't care about? Uh, Fox and Ubre. Okay, Ubre might be somebody I want to trade. Depending on what I can get out here, though. Like, that really depends. Sarge, we're right now Sarge. We could probably get somebody as well. So let's just see. Obviously, the only good players out here is like Buddy Heald. You know, Sabonis wouldn't be a bad move. Um, Siakam obviously would be good. And I honestly 
Haven't snagged Siakam in quite a while, so if I can get Siakam, I'm gonna try. I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay, wait, I gotta free up some money first. So, uh, let's trade, like, somebody I don't think I'll use in this video. So that would be Tuck Diallo, probably. So my mans, you're gonna have to go somewhere else. I'm gonna get a first round pick, and we're gonna go try to offer Siakam a large contract. So let's see. Really? One dollar? That might be the difference between me. Um, do I really need to free up one more dollar? Is that really how this is going to be? Whatever, dude. Whatever. So let's just see. Uh, uh, they're offering a little bit more money. So obviously we're probably... Okay, hold on. Let me... Never mind. I'm not going to be able to get him. All right, Sabonis so might be all right. Let's try to get Sabonis, so I guess. We'll offer him a four-year deal. And we do get Sabonis, but not Siakam. So that's fine. Uh, but we get Sabonis, so I'm not going to complain there. Demontis Sabonis is not a bad option either. So it's not the star that I, you know, necessarily wanted, but it's still a decent player. So we got Darren Fox, Jalen Leck, and Ty Jerome. So we have plenty of point guards, shooting guard, plenty of small forwards. Oh my gosh, we have plenty. All right, so Mikel Bridges and uh, Kelly Oubre will run the small forward this year. I'm probably going to send Jaden and Cam to the G League this year. And I'll probably end up trade, or actually, Kelly Oubre will probably end up leaving, I guess, maybe. So, bonus the four. We have Aiden. So, yeah, I, I really like in this team right now. Uh, we definitely need some more backup centers, backup power forwards, maybe even a backup shooting guard. So, um, we could probably move one of those backup point guards to shooting guards, though. So, let's get a backup center. Alex Lynn, bring him back to Phoenix. I'm going to get Noel. Let's offer him a deal, three year deal. We're going to not renounce the rights on Sarge. Or we already did, so never mind. We're not going to get... All right, that's fine. I don't really need Sarge all that much. So, uh, we got uh, Noel as well. I guess I can offer my man Fred Van Vliet. Actually, no. I don't want Fred Van Vliet because he always goes down in overall for whatever reason. Forbes wouldn't be a bad option either. So, we're going to sign Brent Forbes. And I think that's all I'm going to do for this season. I think that's all we're going to do. We got Sabonis. So, that's not terrible. Honestly, I could just flip Sabonis later on if it's not really working out. Or I could try that right now. I could see what Sabonis and maybe Ubre could get me. Because I might try that. Let's try that real quick. So, Sabonis and Ubre. What could that get me? I'm just going to go out there and look. Just because if that could get me anything, like, tremendous, that's going to be the move. So, let's go and load the 2021 draft class. And then we'll move on from here. So, let's go 2021. And then I don't plan on being in the lottery again. But we'll see what Sabonis and Kelly Ubre. And a future first can get your boy. So let's see what might be out there. So we get Jonas. Don't need him. Nurkic don't need him. None of these offers were that good. I mean, Aaron Gordon's not bad, but not for what. All right. So let's see what other players that I might be interested in. I need a small forward or a power forward, really. Throws in. When I shoot it, it goes in. You guys remember that song? Man, that's a throwback. But anyway, uh, Jewish Randall wouldn't be bad. I never get Jewish Randall, but I don't think that would make us that much better. Kawhi. Uh... Chris Middleton we could probably get, but like I said, I don't know how much better that make us. So yeah, I'm not really seeing anything. Go to training camps and just run with the roster we got. Untapped potential. Let's throw this at uh, Darren Fox. Get him up to it. Or oh, that was DeAndre Aiden, I meant. And then let's get uh, Darren Fox. Let's get Darren Fox. All right, now we should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys the rotation real quick. And uh, we got a nine rotation. Devin Booker, uh, or Darren Fox, Devin Booker, Ubre, Sabonis, Aiden, Noel, Mikel Bridges, Brent Forbes, Jaden McDaniel. So... I'm going to send Jamie McDaniels to the G League because I want him to be really good next year and Cam Johnson, uh, but we'll have to sign someone else. So I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to see what's the end of the season, and we're going to see how this team is going to do. We're at the trade deadline. I'm going to try to get past Cal Siagam here just because I think he would fit nicely here. Ubre is going to expire anyway, so I might as well get something for him. So I'm going to trade 2020 unprotected Milwaukee pick. That's not going to get it done just yet. But if I offer a second, a future first from the Spurs and another first from the Suns from us. And we get Siakam. I'm glad. All right. So we get Pascal Siakam. And just like that, Devin Booker. Uh, why do I always say Devin Booker first before Darren Fox, even though I'm clearly reading Darren Fox's name? But this is the trade I just made. So Devin Booker, um, I literally just did it again. As I said, called myself out. Darren Fox, Devin Booker, Mikel Bridges, Siakam, DeAndre Ayton, Nerlens Noel, Andre Roberson. Oh, we just acquired Andre Roberson, by the way, in the trade as well. So. I really don't need Roberson to uh, play at all, but I'll move him to an 83 or a small forward because he goes up so much. So uh, I'm glad he's not starting just because he really wouldn't fit, but Roberson, I guess, will be coming off the bench for us. So yeah, 
This will be the this will be the team. And you know what I didn't do? Oh, actually, I did send uh, I didn't send Cam Johnson to the G League, but I did send Jay McDaniel. So Jay McDaniels will take over once he gets back. Uh, we're at a four star rating at balance now. We're gonna have four ninety overalls now. That's gonna be awesome. So definitely, ooh, it's gonna be nice. So I'm gonna go ahead, continue simulating, and hopefully we can win a championship this second season. In this second season, Nikola Jokic is your most valuable player. Cole Anthony is your rookie of the year. Dinwiddie is your sixth man. Giannis, RJ Barrett, and Billy Donovan, the coach of the year on the Thunder, who really shouldn't even be good, man. It's just 2K, making Chris Paul like a god in this game. But uh, those were the All-NBA teams. We are the third seed in the West Conference facing the Los Angeles Lakers, so we get to face LeBron, James early on, Siakam, Aiton, Devin Booker, and De'Aaron Fox. So good stats all around. Uh, yeah, we have three 90s, and I'm assuming Siakam will move to a 90 eventually as well. So yeah, this is looking pretty nasty and we're gonna have what's his face joining us next season and jay mcdaniel is at an 82 overall yeah we're gonna be deadly if we don't want a championship now we're definitely winning it next year but we're up 2-0 on los angeles they're uh looking to even it up but we're up 3-1 and can we beat them in five we do and now we're facing the houston rockets let's go ahead and see if we can beat the houston rockets as well we're up 1-0 on them they even it up let's go up 2-1 they do let's go up okay they're not liking this too much let's go to simcast and see if we can come down from a 3-1 deficit. The Houston Rockets just gave Eric Gordon a contract extension. Personally, I think it's a little bit of an overpay, but I understand uh, Eric Gordon's been good for them. I still think they might have overpaid just a little, just because Eric Gordon, to me, is more of a role player. But, I don't know, you guys might think different. I don't think he's a star by any means, and uh, he's literally just, he kind of got paid like a star, in my opinion. But we just won. By two points can we complete this 3-1 comeback though can we complete this 3-1 comeback is the question so hopefully we can hopefully 2k just ain't messing with me letting me come all the way back and then just to destroy my dreams this is what 2k does dude oh my god all right they're like oh yeah you're gonna come down from 3-1 and it's gonna look like you're gonna make this amazing comeback but then you're gonna get blown out in game seven just because we hate you so that's how my luck is but that's fine whatever so basically all i'm going to do is just really keep the roster the same Jay McDaniels is going to join the rotation for us. So I don't think I'm going to do anything this offseason besides resign. Uh, let's let's make sure we resign De'Aaron Fox and DeAndre Ayton, of course. But that's like all I'm going to do. And I think there's nothing else I can do. Uh, where did that Bucks pick end up? I did trade that Bucks pick. Where is it? I don't even see it. Uh, actually, that might be until later on. But uh, the Kings have the number one overall pick. Uh, staff signing Monty Williams. I actually might fire Monty Williams just to make sure that I can maybe... I have a better chance of making the playoffs not that like monty williams is like not gonna let me make the playoffs but i don't know i'm gonna get vince carter as well uh let's sign vc and uh where are you nick nurse dude i literally fired my coach so i could get you get over here and all right cool head scout we'll get this guy i guess and we'll sign him all right for the draft i don't think we are gonna have a pick because i traded it 26 pick overall uh, let's go to rookie signing and see who they take um this guy welcome in cam johnson will accept and of course we're going to bring back everyone else oh wait deandre and still has another year so darren fox is the only player we need to look to bring back who else is a free agent this year uh looks like roberson is not i kind of expected him to be darren fox is literally the only free agent so once we resign darren fox which i plan to do early on we're not renouncing him but you're crazy 2k i don't even know why you're suggesting that i should renounce him we're not renouncing him. I'm going to give him his deal now just because I didn't want to stop. Just stop. I don't know why you keep suggesting to me to renounce Darren Fox. You're you're dumb. You're so dumb. Let's go to player progression, though. And uh, we'll see how this roster is looking now. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the end of next season. The outcome actually went down to an 88, interestingly enough. But uh, I think this team should do some damage. No matter what, this will be the last season. Unless if we don't make the playoffs, which I'd be frustrated as hell. But... Uh, let's go ahead and see my team end of the season and let's see how this Phoenix Suns team does get back to the playoffs once again We're 49 and 33 this time. So let's go ahead and look at these stats real quick and see hopefully that we okay 25 20 18 16 and a half. So yeah, I mean, hopefully this is the okay and Siakam is 90 so we have four 90 overalls two of them are 94 which is nice, but Let's just go ahead and see if we can beat the Oklahoma City Thunder in the first round, who had the same record as us. I'm almost nervous we're going to lose to the Thunder just because 2K likes to boost them up so much. 3-1. All right, let me go to SimCast, man. Let me go to SimCast. Why is 2K make the Thunder so damn good, dude? It doesn't make any sense. 
Not a sense in the world. Looks like we're going to be able to beat them here, though. We can make the Thunder blow a 3-0 lead. We can go ahead and beat any team in this playoffs. But we got to beat the Thunder here. Like, that's, that's, obvi that's obvious. But you know what I'm saying? You guys get what I'm saying. I have to make the Thunder blow a 3-0 lead. And that's just, like, going to be a little hard. And then, of course, what 2K is going to do is uh, they'll let me get this close. And then they'll make me lose, and they'll be like, sorry, dude, you suck. And then, you you know, you'll come back from 3-0, but then it's like you get to the game seven, and they're like, oh, you're going to get blown out. So, like our odds here. So, uh, let's get get Jim McDaniels just, like, going in there. DeAndre Ayton, get him a dunk. No? Okay, he's got the ball back. Throw it out. Ooh, I thought Devin Booker was going to be wide. Oh, and we got fouled. Okay. Nice foul. Nice foul. Um, who, Okay, we got Darren Fox coming back in the game. Let's try, I don't know, man. Let's try some pick and roll with Siakam, I guess. Although this is going way too slow for the shot clock. Okay, De'Aaron Fox is wide open. Blew right past Gallinari. Nice dunk, so that's good. All right, let's get um, Chris Paul. Okay, let's see if we can lock up Chris Paul. My alarm's going off. Let me turn that off. because I, I, You guys probably heard that. Uh, let's see, Chris Paul. Ooh, nice block. Get it, get the ball. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Uh, dude, it's so annoying. Thunder, Tristan Thompson. Why did the Thunder have Tristan Thompson? Why would he ever go to OKC, man? Like, he's like 29 or something. All right, man. Let's throw it. Let's give it to Devin Booker. Get out of Devin Booker's way. Go in there and just shoot a damn three. That's terrible. Oh, I thought he almost made that. I I'm just shooting up desperate shots now, dude. This is so irritating. Like, seriously, I had that block, and then Tristan Thompson gets fouled. You're going to shoot that three? Ooh, double team, double team. Let's get him. Double team. Ooh, nice steal. Nice steal. Oh, I'm throwing it to D-Book on the outside. Perimeter shot. Let's go. Three. And that's in. All right. We're down five still, though. So, like, probably not going to be able to complete the comeback. We're going to have to foul Chris Paul. So, yeah, this is going to suck. All right. So, let's see. Chris Paul. Um, He's going to hit that first one. And he's probably going to hit the second one as well. And that's probably going to be game, to be honest. Uh, Let's just throw it to D-Book. Try to get another three. Um, probably not gonna happen, but let's shoot it and oh, okay That's gonna end it guys. That's gonna be it for me, man So, uh, you know this Darren Fox seven Booker thing didn't really work out. I guess uh, We lost to the Thunder and then we lost to the Rockets. Come on. Give me the ball Chris Paul quick. That's with me, dude All right, man, I give up. So thank you guys. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this one uh, I could just not wait for 2k20 to be honest, but this crush bulls. I'm saying peace